It's good to be back in the shop. Today let's start a vlog building one of the most interesting inventions of all time. One of these, a curta. What's a curta? Well, if you haven't heard of one, a curta is a mechanical calculator, a device that adds, subtracts, multiplies, and divides to 10 digits using a hand crank. This isn't going to be easy though. Inside this little thing, about the size of a coffee cup, are 100 unique parts, 600 parts in total that all intricately mesh together. It also requires a significant amount of tooling to make all the springs, clips, gears, and pins. Now this is going to be an interesting and long home shop build. The Curta itself is fascinating, but the story behind it is equally fascinating. The Curta was designed in a World War II concentration camp. Its inventor almost had his patent stolen from him. Its production was fraught with mismanagement, and its short life was eclipsed by the electronics revolution. It has been about 50 years since the last Curta was manufactured. It's time to make some new ones and retell the story. There is a place where time stands still. A place of breathtaking wonder, but also of terrifying danger. The adventure begins. Yeah, I, I think I'm going to need one of these to make quite a few of those parts. Now a few eagle-eyed viewers may have noticed a mill 
specifically a CNC mill sitting in the corner of the shop, and indeed there is one sitting there. Now that's a story for another video. I'd like to convert this rotary table to a stepper-driven one so that I can interface it with the mill. I'm basically going to pull this handle off and mount a stepper motor here. But before I even do that, I need to make up a few backing plates so I can mount the three-jaw and four-jaw mini lathe chuck to this table that I have, along with the 5C collet chuck that I use on the lathe. I'd like to make up a few cast iron backing plates for it. Now cast iron where I live is actually kind of hard to get. Durabar isn't readily available except from a few suppliers who don't really like dealing with home shop Harry's, and I get that. So I thought I'd try making them out of something else. Cast iron, but... <clears throat> cast iron weights. Now before everybody starts groaning, I actually tested these with a file and they're not too bad. I think they're going to machine up just fine. You do need to be careful with weights though. Some of them can be harder than hobo fecal material and good luck cutting them. But these ones I think are going to be okay. Now when you go buy the weights, you're going to get some weird looks when you test them with the file. Just explain you're a home shop machinist and they'll probably look at you a little bit funny but we're an interesting bunch. We take you to the Hotel Martinet in Brooklyn, where Bobby Millette and his orchestra are offering a program of dance music.
plate finished up. Uh, this backing plate's good for both of these chucks, both the three jaw and four jaw, hence the strange mounting pattern, or at least it looks strange here. The three jaw has got cap screws that go right through it. The four jaw is a traditional four jaw with the mounting holes in the back. Um, makes it a little less convenient because you have to actually pull the whole backing plate off the rotary table to mount the four jaw, but it's no big deal. It just takes a little bit more time. I also made up some T-nuts, some larger ones, to distribute the stress over the entire slot. So I thought it would be handy to be able to mount this on the rotary table as well, my 5C collet chuck off the lathe. So I went ahead and made up one of these. It's kind of like a cooking show. It's exactly the same as this. The pilot diameter is obviously different and I had to move the mounting holes inboard of the 5C collet chuck. 
that's a little bit of a pain because you have to mount the table or mount the plate to the table first and then put the 5C collet chuck on. I don't know how rigid this setup's going to be. Uh, this is a fairly large chuck for a six inch rotary table. Now granted, I've seen lots of people put large chucks on these little rotary tables as well. An eight inch would be nice, uh, but it doesn't fit as well on the mill that I have. So there you have it. You can turn regular lifting weights into backing plates. And I'm building a Curta. If you want to see regular updates to the Curta project, be sure to check out my Instagram account, The Cogwheel. I am posting fairly regular updates there. I will be back in the shop with another project very soon. Another project being a project to finish a project to build a Curta.